guys! For this week's video, I'm going to be showing you my art book collection. This is going to be art books from like movies and games and films and things, as well as like art reference books, just everything that's on my art book shelf in my art studio. In this video, I'm going to be basically just showing you all the covers of the books and then flipping through my favorite of my collection. I have too many to kind of flip through every single one. It would be like an hour video, so I'm not going to do that, but I'm going to flip through the ones that I really like. I also want to apologize if you can hear any outside noise. I have my windows open today. Normally I don't have them open when I'm filming, but today's the first day that we're allowed to open windows again because I live about a mile and a half from the Eagle Creek fire and it's it's very smoky here, so if you can hear cars and birds and outside things, that's why, and I'm really sorry. <laughs> so I'm gonna start off doing this little section, which is mostly like little artist zines and like how-to books and reference books and stuff like that. Creative Ink, the ultimate guide to running a successful freelance business. Art Ink, the essential guide for building your career as an artist. Brick by Brick, principles for achieving artistic mastery. How to be a wildflower, a field guide by Katie Daisy. The Handmade Marketplace, How to Sell Your Crafts Locally, Globally, and Online. This is a good reference book if you are looking to start a business. 5-Minute Sketching, Architecture, Super Quick Techniques for Amazing Drawings by Liz Steele, who is one of my favorite watercolor artists. Urban Sketching Handbook, Understanding Perspective, Easy Techniques for Mastering Perspective Drawing on Location. This is the Gouache Palette Book by Mike Hernandez. I supported him on Kickstarter and mine is signed and it just has a lot of plates of gouache paintings that he's done in it. Perfect Tree Shapes, an illustrated travel journal of Paris and London by Fran Nerd, who is one of my favorite artists. Victoria Ying's Two Little Art Collections, Draw Ying's and Paint Ying's, which are the cutest titles ever. Jacqueline De Leon's Inktober Zine from 2016. Thistle. Peter Pan the Companion Guide, which goes with this book right here, which I'll show in a minute, but it is a collection of rough illustrations from the comic that came out, and it's pretty cool. Confetti by Brittany Lee, and mine is signed. Mini Mermies by Liana He, and it is also signed and amazing. Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert. The Crossroads of Should and Must, Find and Follow Your Passion by El Luna. Fashion, Illustration, and Graphic Design by Georgia Babier, Master of Art Deco. This book is really cool. And it's pretty. Bad Girls Throughout History. Flight Volume 5. Peter Pan Volume 1, which is a comic. And it's beautiful. Drawing and Painting Beautiful Faces by Jane Davenport. Creative Sketching Workshop, 21 Sketch Crawl Ideas and Exercises by Pete Scully. Everything you ever wanted to know about watercolor, and they're not kidding. The Watercolorist Essential Notebook by Gordon McKenzie. All right, so now we're gonna go over to this little section right here. Starting with one of my three Makoto Takahashi art books. I can't remember what this one is called. This one's not really an art book, but it's also by Makoto Takahashi, and it is like a collection of fairy tales. We have Enchantadas by Esther Gilly, who is one of my favorite artists of all time.
Imagine FX Sketchbooks Volume 1, which is a magazine, not really a book, but it's over here anyway. We have Perot's Fairy Tales with 34 full-page illustrations by Gustave Doré. And they're amazing. Oh my god. We have Rapunzel's Amazing Hair, which is illustrated by Claire Keane. A Sister More Like Me, which is illustrated by Brittany Lee. Part of Their World, also illustrated by Brittany Lee. And One Sweet Race, which, you guessed it, is illustrated by Brittany Lee. Once Upon a Cloud by Claire Keane. The Sandman and The Man on the Moon, both by William Joyce. We have Curiosities, an illustrated history of ancestral oddity by Mark Yamada and Victoria Ying. A Mucha illustration collection, a Fragonard painting collection, and the Alphonse Mucha Masterworks collection. This book is so heavy, you guys. All right, so now I'm going to do this little section. I'm going to start off with some books that are down on the floor underneath. The Encyclopedia of Early Earth by Isabel Greenberg. The 100 Nights of Hero, also by Il Isabel Greenberg. The Art of Full Metal Alchemist, Volume 1, Volume 2, and Volume 3, which is in Japanese because at the time it was not available in English. And these are all by Hiromu Arakawa this really old Japanese Sailor Moon art book. The Vilpu Drawing Manual. <laughs> 100 Tuesday Tips. The Artist Color Guide for a Watercolor. To draw comics the Marvel way by Stan Lee. Edition 14 of the Artist Guild Pricing and Ethical Guidelines. Basic Perspective Drawing, a visual guide. The Atlas of Human Anatomy for the Artist by Stephen Rogers Peck, one of my favorite anatomy books. Right or Wrong, a Writer's Guide to Creating Comics by Dirk Manning. The Complete Book of Chalk Lettering, Creative Lettering and Beyond. Artist Journal Workshop, Creating Your Life in Words and Pictures. The Colored Pencil Painting Bible. Color and Light by James Gurney. Creating Characters with Personality by Tom Bancroft. The Animator's Survival Guide. This book is a beast. This was from art school, and it's very handy. The Tarzan Chronicles, which is the Tarzan art book, and it's super heavy, so I'm not going to pick it up. The Art of the Hunchback of Notre Dame. The Art of Pocahontas, which is also gigantic. Alright, so now we're going to go over to this quadrant of the art book bookshelf, which has most of my Disney and video game and other film illustration and other art books and things. Treasure Planet, A Voyage of Discovery, also known as the Art of Treasure Planet, which took me forever to find. My gosh. The Art of Wreck-It Ralph. The Art of Tangled. The Art of Moana. The Art of The Princess and the Frog. The Art of Frozen. The Art of Brave. The Art of Loish. Ladies of Literature, Volume 1. And Ladies of Literature, Volume 2. Dreaming Girls by Makoto Takahashi. of animation. Mine came from the Kickstarter campaign and mine is signed by all the artists. There and Back Again, Unfinished Tales Volume 5, Evan's Art Book. 
The Art of Uncharted 4, A Thief's End. The Art of the Uncharted Trilogy. The Art of the Last of Us. And The Art of Naughty Dog. My favorite art book, which is The Art of Journey. Designing the Secret of Kells. The Art of How to Train Your Dragon. The Art of How to Train Your Dragon 2. The Art of the Rise of the Guardians. Mine is signed. The Art of the Crudes. The Art of Kung Fu Panda 2. The Art of the Prince of Egypt. The Art of DreamWorks Animation. This book is gigantic, and it's really cool. Alright guys, so those are all the art books that are on my art bookshelf. I wanted to do this video before I did my studio tour, because I always get asked to show my art books. So now you can watch this, and then I'll have my studio tour up in a little bit. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and give this video a like. It really helps to support me, and I will see you guys next week for another video. Bye!